If we look very closely at the skin's surface, we can see thousands of tiny openings called pores. These pores are the openings of follicles which are under the skin's surface. Tiny glands continuously pump oil, also known as sebum, into the follicles. The oil travels up and onto the skin. The follicle is aligned with cells which produce a material called keratin. This keratin joins the oil that is flowing through the follicle. Bacteria can also be found in the follicles. Every hour of every day, this mixture flows out of the pore openings as long as the pores remain open. Unfortunately, pores can become clogged and start the acne process. Creams or makeup may block them, but most importantly, the pores can become clogged by touching or rubbing with the hands. This can push dead skin cells down into the pore or cause a layer of skin to cover the pore. When pores are blocked, the oil and keratin that are being pumped into the follicle can't get out. Pressure builds up and makes the follicle expand like a balloon being filled with water. As the follicle gets larger and larger, this stretches the follicle walls. Tiny holes can form through which bacteria and other contents in the follicle can leak out. This attracts cells of inflammation, which try to fix the problem. The cells lining the canal start to produce more keratin to shield themselves from the increasing stretch. Unfortunately, this additional keratin adds even more material to the canal. As more and more oil and keratin build up, the follicle can actually burst, causing much more inflammation. This is the point where we see red bumps and pimples on the skin, what we call acne. The expanded follicles can also rupture from outside pressure, such as from leaning on hands or squeezing by fingers. Yet another reason to avoid touching acne-prone areas. So why does acne not typically start until around puberty? This is because before puberty, the oil glands make very little oil. So even if a pore becomes blocked, not much pressure develops. But starting in puberty, hormones stimulate the oil glands to produce much more oil, which makes a person more prone to acne because pressures in the follicle can build up quickly. Because of genetics, some people can produce five to 10 times more oil than others. Unfortunately, these people are more acne prone because there's so much material trying to get out of the small pore at the same time. The follicle can expand and rupture, even without an actual pore blockage. The good news for acne sufferers is that an advanced research-based acne treatment has emerged. The Two Wash System from endofacne.com. Step one, remove surface material such as makeup, keratin, and sebum. Step two, then penetrates pores to help clear acne lesions. For more information about acne and about the two-wash system, visit endofacne.com.